project Alexa ROM of version 3.10 for POCO F1. Let's see how to install this ROM and also first look of it. So let's get into it. So at the very first time, as you can see that I am running on the MIUI 14 version running on Android 13. So moving toward the system settings, we will see that this is the MIUI 14 version running on Android 13 and all its specification. And now from this, we will install the project Elixir ROM. So to flash this ROM successfully, you need the files which I will link down in description. So this is the rom.zip file which you actually need and also some extra files for which this is the folder where you will see there are some files which will include the firmware and also the DFE. So now you just have to press the power and volume up button to go to the recovery of your phone. Make sure that you use the latest recovery and that recovery will work completely fine. So now you just have to select all these partitions and after selecting that you just have to swipe to confirm flash. Just ignore this message which is the error message as it won't affect you by any means. So now after wiping it you just have to go back and now click on install and locate the files where you have stored in your internal storage or any other storage. So as you can see I have stored my rom.zip file in the download folder and all the other required files. At the very first time you have to select the firmware file and now after that you have to select the rom.zip file. So basically you have to first flash together the firmware and the rom.zip file. So as you can see that the installation process is taking place and now the rom is getting installed. Installing rom will take about 5 minutes so wait for it. So moving fast forward and now you can see that our ROM has been successfully installed on our device. And all the other successful nodes which you will see which shows that the ROM has been installed successfully without any type of errors. So that's a good thing. So moving back you just have to navigate back to the folder where you have all the other files but before that you have to click on mount and mount the vendor. We have to mount the vendor as now we have to flash the DFE that is disable force encryption. So after mounting the vendor you just have to select that file and in few seconds that file will get flashed. So as you can see all the required files have been flashed and now we are good to reboot to a system. So clicking on the reboot to system you will see that your phone is booted. This is the POCO animation and after few seconds you will see that the project Alexa animation moving around. This signifies that a phone has been successfully booted into this ROM and that is what how you install Project Alexa or any type of Android 13 based ROM. So booting will take about 5 minutes so again wait till then and now fast forward to the main part. So as you can see that our ROM has been booted successfully and this is the setup which says uh, welcome to pixel and all those things. So now you can see that this is the setup and now I will just quickly set up all the things including my Wi-Fi password and everything else and I will see you on the other side. So as you can see I have done with setting up this device on the Alexa ROM and now let's move inside and see what all things we will be getting in this ROM. So as you can see at first look the user interface and everything looks just like usual and there is not such huge amount of change that is pretty much obvious as it is as it is an incremental update for the existing build in about phone section you will see that this is running on the latest build of project alexa and that's how it is and all the other information that's pretty much obvious everything else is included in the rom and this android 13 easter egg which you get and again that's pretty much obvious Moving back you will see in the ROM description they have mentioned that they have included double tap to sleep and this is some addition features they have included. 
so basically double tap to sleep is something where you can just double tap your screen and your screen will get to sleep and that's how it is rest all the features looks pretty much similar there's no much difference and yeah that's something good that they include just the type of customizations which is needed and they don't do any other type of customization as you can see double tap to sleep works perfectly fine as we just tried right now so that's something really good so moving further everything on this rom looks pretty much fine at first look and also moving to the good part that you will get the miui camera in this rom and as usual at the beginning miui camera crashes for for one to two times and after that it starts working perfectly so your yeah, our camera app has been opened and you will get that privilege of using 4k 60 fps video recording because of the miui camera and all the other features which you actually love in this cam so that's nice that many rom communities including this camera in this rom so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this app for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one till then peace out